there's a demo or a walkthrough of downloading and submitting a quarterly report in the SSBCI portal. To get started, I've placed the link uh, to our portal up in the browser. And once I hit enter, that's going to take me over to ID.me. And you'll simply fill in your information for ID.me in order to log in. And once you do log in through ID.me, you will be placed onto the SSBCI homepage of the portal. One thing to note, there are a couple of links that we have. If you have the link that has the SSBCI-home-page suffix, it will take you to this homepage. If you do not have that, and it's just without the SSBCI-home-page, it will take you to the COVID Relief Hub main page. We had the ability to dismiss this warning, scroll down and select the green SSBCI program tile. And this will take you to the previous page that we were on. In the left hand navigation, we are going to select capital program reports. And it will default to the quarterly reports. Now I'm in my testing environment, so I have a bunch of records here. When you log in and click capital program reports, you may have a limited number of records depending on if you submitted a quarterly report in the past. The first thing that you would do is you would find your report and you click the blue pencil icon. This blue pencil icon is shown while you're within the submission deadline. Um, if you do not see the blue pencil mark, then you will see a darker blue eyeball where you're only able to view it. So this blue pencil is only available when you're within the submission window. Click on the blue pencil to open the capital program reports for quarterly reports and you will be into the quarterly reports. Now there are a couple of ways of navigating through and you have the left hand navigation where you can navigate from section to section. You also have at the bottom of the page navigations with a back or a next to get to the previous section or the next section. We also have a widget in the top right hand side and this will show the status of your quarterly report, the jurisdiction name, the reporting period, and the deadline for submitting your quarterly report. Now, again, I'm in my testing environment, so these dates are not going to be accurate. But once you're inside of your quarterly report, these will be the current reporting period and the current deadline. The first thing that you will notice is that in red, you will have the reporting period, and then you will have the submission deadline. And again, these will be current dates. We also have a couple of links. We have the capital program reporting guidance. We also have the capital program policy guidelines, and then the SSBCI quarterly report user guide. We'll move on to section two. Now that we're in section two, the first thing that you're going to see is implementing entity information. We ask that you verify what's here to make sure that it is accurate. And if that information is not accurate, you would just simply reach out to your outreach manager or you can send an email to the SSBCI underscore information at treasury.gov uh, for us to make corrections. After you have verified implementing entity information, you'll scroll down and you'll see a contacts area. Now we provide that because we realize that may be uh, different roles in your organization where someone would be a reporting person that was not previously added into a contact for the application process, but you do have the ability to add your reporting person or anyone else that you want to add by clicking this page link, and that takes us to the COVID relief hub. So once you're inside the COVID Relief Hub, first thing you need to do is complete the certification. And you'll simply add your name to the open white space here and hit submit. You'll get a green certification complete splash. And this is basically just affirming that you are the person that is able to add a contact to your records. Next thing is you come down to designation form. And the first thing I want to call out is we have uh, different roles inside of our systems that allow different types of user 
access. The first one is going to be the account admin role. And this person can view and download with inside the Cola report. We also have point of contact for reporting. This person can view, download, and upload the Cola report. And the third role is authorized representative. This person can view, download, upload, and submit and certify the Cola report. Now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click add a new contact. And you just need to add all the information with a red asterisk. And once you have that information in, you click the down drop back the drop down box. And for the purpose of the demo, I'm going to use the capital authorized representative role, which is the role again that can view, download, upload and submit and certify. Select the role and click add new contact. And that contact is added to uh, the table for user access. You also have the ability to, to edit a user. You click on the blue pencil next to the user that you want to edit. And then you can make changes accordingly. And then click Save. I'm going to keep it as is and press Cancel. And I'm going to close this browser. And that will bring us back to the section two of the quarter report. And I'm going to hit Refresh. And you should see that new user in section two shown in a table here. Next, we're going to move to section three. I'm going to use the next button towards the bottom. And then section three, we just ask you to read the information here to make sure you're comfortable with everything. And we have a download link right here where you can download your quarterly report template. That way you can work offline and once you have it completed, you can log back in and upload the completed template. And click on Upload Files. And navigate through your Explorer. Choose your file and press Open. And you'll get a dialog box that pops up. And then once this turns blue, you click Done. And that file will show down in the table. If there was an instance where you've uploaded an incorrect file, you can always click the box next to the file and click Delete. You'll get a deleting splash window up top. And I like to refresh this window. Come back to section three and you'll see that that file has been deleted. And all you need to do is click upload again. Search for your uploaded file. Click open. You'll see the dialog box. And you can press done. And the file shows in the bottom. Now you may notice the name of the file has a prefix that was added to the name of the file. And we put a final and we also put test in front of that. So don't be surprised when you see the word final in front of the name of the file that you just uploaded. Next, we'll navigate to section four. And this is the certification and submission page. Now that we're in section four for the certification and submission page, this is where you would enter your full name in order to certify. I like to click and drag over and copy my name and paste it into the white space because this area is space sensitive. So if I add a couple of spaces in here, and it's also case sensitive. So if I change to lowercase and I click certify submit, it's going to give me a red error message. So again, I like to copy my name and paste it into the box and then click certify and submit. You'll get a green success and you will also see the status changed over to submit. And that is an indication that we have received your quarter report. Now, if you're still with inside of 
the submission deadline window and you've realized that you needed to make an update to your quarterly report, you can click the unsubmit report button here. In clicking that, we're going to ask for a confirmation. Click on submit again. And you'll get another green success story. You'll see the status has changed back to draft. And you'll also notice it dropped us back to section three where you're able to upload your quarterly report uh, that has been updated. I like to also hit refresh to make sure that the upload files section has been reactivated and you'll see it down here. And you will simply click on upload files, navigate to your updated quarterly report, click open. You should see the dialog box and the blue done and I'm clicking blue done. And you see the file that has been presented here in the table below. And we just go back to section four. Copy our name. Paste it in. And click certify and submit. You'll get a success. And you notice that the draft is not changed. I'll refresh one more time. Come back to section four. You'll see the confirmation at the bottom. And then you also see the status has been submitted. And again, this is an indication that Treasury has received your quarterly report. And with that, this ends the quarterly report demo.